So guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today, Andrea has no idea what we're doing. Nope. We are going. We started already. Yes. Oh, he didn't even tell me we started. I said, "Are you are you ready?" Well, hi then. Yeah. Um, we are going to be doing a challenge. We are going. <laughs> challenge. Yes. We are going to be doing the truth or dare challenge. I just um wrote down twenty five truth or dares. What? There's double the amount of dares than there are truth. And we're going to do that. And the way this is going to work, since this is a challenge, you have two times to not do a dare or do a challenge. And once you get to number two, you lose. And you guys can choose a punishment for the loser. Okay? I'm not ready for this. Yeah, it's good. Okay, my first thing is the truth. And it reads, what is the most embarrassing thing? Well, stop. What? You pick it. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to answer this or me? Some of them, like this one, is for me. But some of them, that it says me or I. If it says me, then, it, it, then it's about the other person. If it says I, then, it, then it's about you. Okay. But I'll explain that. So I have a truth first, and, the, and it reads, What is the most embarrassing thing your kids have ever caught you doing? If you guys are parents, you understand how hard it is to do... Whoopee? That's what you say, what, right? Whoopee? Whoopee. That's what they used to say, whoopee. What's a whoopee? Whoopi is... How old are you? Whoopi. I would say grown-up time things. Okay, grown-up time things. How many grown-up things are you doing? Um, our third oldest child, Ashley, has this superhero power to no matter where we are in the house, no matter what time it is, the minute we get... Freaky. Freaky, she needs to pop up and say... Her hair is on fire or <laughs> an alligator just ate her. Like, I honestly think she waits and says, you know what? It's been about three, four days since they did anything. They probably go do something, something tonight. And she likes to pop up and then she gets mad. Like, she has no idea how she was made. She gets angry. Like, really That's angry. True. She gets angry. She like, <gasps> and then she run off and when we talk to her and say, why did you just bump in the room? She gets very angry. So, about yeah. what we did there. The most embarrassing thing that my child children have ever caught me doing was having whoopee, making a whoopee with my wife. And this has happened with actually what? Four or five times? Yeah. It's so bad that we have to... Should we say that? No, we, nah, no. that's our okay. secret. Yeah, but actually <laughs> catching us making whoopee. There's I'm not prepared for all this <laughs> now. I did not set my mind on this challenge. <laughs> I did not... I don't know. I'm not, I'm there's not some ready really good for ones. this. There are some really good ones. <clears throat> I might have to help you read because I write like shit. Oh, okay. No, the other side. Yeah. Text the second person in your phone. You love them. I said the second person because nine times out of ten, I'm the first person in her mess. And I'm the second messages person in on your messages. WhatsApp or what? No, WhatsApp. You have all those groups. Um, Facebook Messenger. The second will be a group. No, this is the first one. Who is who is that? Someone who would help us to to build a kitchen. Okay, we don't want to text them. Then the next person. Then the second is you. Yeah. And the Sad third dream. will be a friend. Did it, it. It's a girl though. Yeah, so that's not really that good, but maybe she reacts. Now it's my turn. Let's see what I get. Okay, I have another truth. Lucky me. What is the most childish thing you still do? Um... <laughs> I think the most childish thing I still do. Okay, I'm gonna give you two quick two answers to this. What she thinks the most childish thing I still do is, and the most childish thing I think I still do. For me, I can't sleep without a blanket. Like, um, when I was a kid, I used to think that my blanket had um, special powers, powers. That if I just hid under under my blanket, no matter what was happening, I was safe. It must safe. just be happy under our bed. Like when they come when, out and he have his blanket, I was good. They say, "Oh, back up! He have a blanket." I still have that. Um, if I fall asleep like during like during the day on on the train or something, that's different. But if I am prepared to go to sleep, I cannot sleep without a blanket. So I think that is the most childish thing that I do. He don't even leave a foot out or something. <laughs> He has to be rolled in. Like, he really rolls in his blanket. And I think what she would say is that my patience when I'm out and I want something. Like, if I'm out and we're shopping and I see something that I want, no matter how stupid it is or how expensive it is, and I want it, I want it at that moment. 
And if I don't get it, I kind of throw a tenter, tenter, how do you say, tenter, tenter, tenter. Yeah, going out with him is like you have another child with you. Yeah, I throw a he fit. He throw a fit if he don't get something he need, no matter if it's something we need or not, no matter if it costs five euro or five hundred. He need this right now, and he need it. <laughs> Beside that, he always needs something to eat. He needs. Come something on, to drink, we said one thing, not fifty, not fifty, and get off yeah. me. Oh, you better get a bad there. See how she treat me? Oh, I have to. <laughs> you have like five. <laughs> oh, okay. Make up your own language for the next three minutes. <laughs> what? That means I ask you questions <laughs> and you have to answer in a language that, that does not exist. So, my friend wrote back for the I love you message and she simply said, I love you too. I don't know why you keep showing so, your phone. I got it on manual focus. Love you, Sandrine. So I ask you questions and you have to answer in your own language. Oh, I've been, I've been running my stopwatch for 49 days, 52 hours, no, 49 hours, 52 minutes, 53 seconds. So I guess we can stop that. I don't even know what it was for. Reset. So for three minutes, you have to speak in your own language. Okay. What is your biggest dream, Andrea? <laughs> this is stupid. I think that goes under failure. Um, no, no, give me a second. That I understand okay. that language. Okay. Nope, we, nope, we I'm ready, restart. I'm ready. What did you dream last night? Strippen gotcha dongbong. Rustekabong tish. And what happened in your dream? Dragon, go, 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 go. Sip up. What do you want to eat tonight? Three pasha. <laughs> Pato palter. <laughs> and drinking? What? Tell me what you did yesterday. Pale potre sto pati. I le pose. What else? Na pop tuff tuff. Um. Capoche. What is your biggest fear? Na chocolate shito. And your biggest dream? Hmm. Pata, yes, I know to you. Kitty libu. Okay, that's enough. We're not going to do three minutes of that, but one minute is good. Remember, whoever refuses more than twice, or twice loses. I have a truth. What is your favorite... Why do you always have truth? <laughs> I don't know. And I always have there. <laughs> what is your favorite body part of you? My favorite body part but of I you. I know that. That cushion. That cushion. Yeah, that butt. <clears throat> if it's a dare again, something wrong here. <laughs> Lick the floor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dare time. Kind of nasty. Wait. Okay, now. That's nasty. Come on. Eww. Okay. If you have through it again, dude, I stop playing. <laughs> now it's my turn. I swear I'm not cheating. Okay. What do I get now? I have a dare. Ah! Take a selfie on the toilet and post it onto Instagram. Let's go. <laughs> but that video will be an hour, dude. No, even if it is, so what? Make a funny face for two minutes. Two minutes is a little bit long. <laughs> so I can, but we just keep playing. Yeah, okay. So start. A funny face. Okay. All right, my turn. Paint your nails only using your teeth. Sounds good. I don't have any um nail polish. I'm sure we can get some. Okay. Got. Ooh. Okay. 
Hmm? We don't have nail remover. And <laughs> we have no nail polish remover. The fuck? <laughs> Nobody here wears nail polish. Okay. Your turn. There's still some good ones in there. Act like the other person for the next two rounds. Okay. Where's your funny face at? I saw one round and now it's something else. Oh, my, my, my hands are wet. You so stupid. Dumbass. What was your first impression of Andrea? Now let's hear what was his first impression of Andrea. I hope it's just a good one. <laughs> That's me? Yeah. My first impression of you... Now let's hear what shit he have to say. I thought she was a fat Jamaican lady. Because we talked on the phone before we seen each, each other. And I always told you that your accent sounds like Miss Cleo. What's your fucking problem? <laughs> Why would you say that on camera? <laughs> and I just thought that she was a fat Jamaican lady. No offense to any overweight Jamaican ladies. Let's see what I got here. That's not me at all. That's the wrong side. When was the first time? Last time. That's an A and an S. Oh. Should have write better than I could read it. <laughs> when was the last time you peed in the bed? Don't lie, I sleep right next to you. Well, I guess when I was about two. You never peed in the bed after that. Uh-uh. And that time last week when you got up and went and went to work and it was that fucking yellow stain there. <gasps> what? Huh? Nah. Okay, you're I'm grown. <laughs> She's lying. Last I don't week. pee in the bed. Last week. Come on, it's not true. I don't pee in the bed. Alright, my turn. Oh, am I Drea now or am I still Lewis? You still me for one more round. Sing everything you say for the next two rounds. So you singing, I'm you? Yes, I'm singing for the next two rounds. Alright, give me that fucking bucket. <laughs> Let me see what shit I, I don't got. sound like that. You are such a hater. What is the most expensive thing you have stolen? <laughs> you the some as a child. Oh, I'm him. When I was small, I was stealing something. I was a bad person. <laughs> I think the most expensive things I ever stole was shoes, some sneakers at Foot Locker. When I was like 10. You can stop being me now because you doing it so wrong. Yeah, well, I think it was some sneakers at Foot Locker. Where I was like, oh, this one just I don't remember, there. 12 years old. Oh, she's so, still talking. She's sorry. still talking. Okay. This shit is not, this is not easy to do with this glittery shit on my hands. What could I not go without for one day? Meaning you. What is one thing I think Andrea could not go without? For a day, it would be coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I just spit on myself. Coffee. Yeah, true. Coffee. I think every nurse is coffee addicted. I thought you was a school. I thought you was a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, now seriously, I'm every nurse or people in the medicine area are coffee addicted. Now it's time. For me to stop singing now. All right. Why you keep doing that on that side? It's the other Can side. Can I ask something? What? Ain't that my school stuff? That was in an old fucking notebook up under the thing back in the back. You don't need that no more. Let me draw on your face for 10 seconds. That means you let me draw on your face. <laughs> no. Yes. 
That's for me to you, exactly. But with what pen? Yeah, sure. With what do we draw? A marker. With a marker? Are you yeah. crazy? No, I have sensitive skin. So no? First no. You got one more. Let's close this. Alright, my turn. What would you do if you were the opposite sex for one day? Um, I probably would never leave the room. <laughs> because <laughs> he would be busy with yourself all I would day. Be, I would be busy for one whole day. How many do you need? One. <clears throat> Make up a short poem using the words moose. The fuck is a moose? It's a moose. And orange. I need one little moment to think about some. I'm not so creative. This is where the Jeopardy music goes. Once upon a time, there was a goose who liked to come and borrow my orange mousse. I told her no, but she said yes. I have no idea what to say next. <laughs> High five. That's a low five. Alright, back to me. Um, the couple of dares I was looking forward to are still in this bucket. You mean the bad things are not gone yet? No. I licked the floor. There's a couple. Yeah, that was that was one of them. There's like still two left. I hope you get them. Of course you do. Next one is... Oh, God. What is your most embarrassing moment? Do y'all notice I never had, like... <laughs> My most embarrassing oh, moment... Oh, I know a view from him, but let's hear what he <laughs> think was the most embarrassing. Okay, let me explain to you people the story first. This is like four years ago, when I had to <laughs> I get... I know what he got to <laughs> when I, had, most <laughs> I don't know what you talking about. When I had to get my, um... When you live in one country and you come to another country, there are certain things you have to do to be able to stay in that country. And one of the things I had to do was go to a German class to learn basic German. I already knew basic German, but I still had to go to the class to, to get the um, certificate to prove that I knew it. So um, I was going to this class, and this class was about 15 minutes away. And at that time, we only had one car. And she needed the car to go to work, so I had to walk there. And um, the night Oh, that was a nasty story. I don't know what you were <laughs> I was thinking about something else, but let's tell you the nasty <laughs> story. Um... So the night before, I was feeling sick. Explosive. Yeah, I had diarrhea, but I thought it was gone. And I was walking to school, and you ever had that moment? Don't okay. First off, people, don't judge me, okay? <laughs> you are not a sick part. <laughs> don't judge me. Don't you dare judge me, because I know I'm not the only one in the world who thought they had to sneeze and the area was clear. Ah. And I sneezed, but the area was not clear. If y'all get what I mean. <clears throat> um, so His I had to butthole sneezed. <laughs> so I had to walk home, which was not the most embarrassing thing. But she didn't have to go to work till later, and I thought she had to go to work in the morning. And the most embarrassing thing was to explain to my wife why she have to wash <laughs> shitty pants. That I no, you did not have to wash them. That I'm home because I shitted on myself. So that was the most <laughs> that was the most embarrassing moment that ever happened to me. Why you're not in class, baby? Because I shitted myself. But don't judge me. Don't act like it never happened to any of you people. Actually, comment below if you in a shit gang. <laughs> what? <laughs> like someone was like, yeah, team shit gang. Come on. Hashtag shit gang below. Most people have their, um, how do I say this nicely? Most people have their rectum under, under control. control. I thought it was clear. Okay. How many days could you go without me? Me. Which I guess I without you. Yes. How many days could I go without you? The fuck? I thought it was gonna be zero. Well, I honestly think none. I would miss him. And only if it's to shit on him when I come home and get my anger out. Oh, so you admit that? Yeah, of course. Hmm. See that? Yeah, I, I think I wouldn't she wanna on be without him. Maybe out in this bar or something. Without, I'm not even gonna lie. Without him and without the, just me. I'm not even gonna lie. If it was me and I got that question, a weekend. Not every weekend, but maybe 
once every six months. She could take everybody, pack them up, go to Disney World or whatever. Like, I don't want them we to... We should do that. Everybody deserve one week in the, a year. Yeah, okay. Where Mine is just next me. time. Next weekend. Can I? I'm going to travel. I, I will travel. I'll make a vlog. Can I? My no, you can't travel nowhere because I want to go to a spa. Okay, yeah. But not a weekend. I mean, like a weekend would be like, no, from like a, a Saturday, Saturday morning to Sunday. Yeah. Morning. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna vlog it so y'all see it's true. I have a dare. Make a short. Make a short rap about the other person. Okay. First of all, <laughs> MC I, Buggy in the house. Before I do this, there are certain stereotypes about my people. I don't play basketball. I'm a vegan. He can dance. He can sing. He I can don't rap. eat chicken. I don't like watermelon. I'm not a gangster. Even though I have all these tattoos, I've never shot anybody. I've never sold drugs. And the most important thing is, I can't rap worth shit. Mm -hmm. But, um, let's go. Yo, yo, yo. My name is L Boogie. <coughs> oogie, woogie, oogie. I'm about to rap before <coughs> I take my nap about Andrea. All the way to the Himalayas. You beautiful and bootyful. Check it, check it, eek, eek, check it, check it. <laughs> awesome. Your hair is brown. I like it really black, but don't give me flack because I'm a Mac. That day. Okay, there you go. Oh, I have a dare. Surprise. Eat a bite of a sandwich. The other person make for you. <laughs> that is one of the ones I was waiting for. Okay, no dog food. I'm not gonna give you dog food. No poop on a sandwich. <laughs> or what? You think I'll give you shit to eat? Come on. You the shit boy. <clears throat> Read between the lines. Yeah. Okay. Let's make. Oh, and you want to talk shit to me when I'm? Why is this the the theme shit? You want to talk mess to me when I'm about to make you a sandwich? Be right back. Okay, guys, I um, tried to prank Andrea earlier saying that somebody stole her car, but she saw the camera when I was trying to do my whole your, your car stolen thing. So I warned her that I was going to prank her this weekend, and she does not believe me. So for the sandwich, I'm actually going to add as much wasabi as possible and see if she eats it and see what happens. Okay, guys, the sandwich is back. I already told you guys what's in it, but let me, it's um, honey mustard, pickles, um, coleslaw. Mayonnaise and jelly. And what's this? Is this throw up? Where? What? This? That's the honey, the honey and mustard. You have to take a big bite of it too. Not the little bullshit stand. Come on, just take a bite. That's jelly, you know. Take a big bite of it. You know my stomach is weak, right? <laughs> big bite. I feel like gagging sing already. How many notes do I have? Two, and then you get your punishment. After this second no, or after this third? No, after the second one. If I say no to this, now I get, get a, punishment. a punishment. Yes. <laughs> Come on, it's not nasty. It's just jelly on it. That's the, that's the bad thing. I don't like Everything this coleslaw. Else. I don't like honey mustard. You had it last night. Yeah, this is too much. It's tripping out. Come on. <sighs> and then the pickle. Oh my god. Oh my god! What? Oh, you fucking asshole! Oh, let me help him! Oh! Oh! Oh, Come on. Oh! Like it, what? Oh! 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 Coffee, coffee, give me my coffee. <laughs> I told you I was gonna get you, right? <laughs> I hate 
Wasabi. <laughs> Wasabi? Put it down. That was nice. <laughs> that was nice. I don't get the wasabi taste of my mouth now. Okay. That was nice. I told you I was I was I was gonna get you, right? That was nice. There's still one more in here that I'm not looking and for. And it was though. hidden, it took a second. <laughs> I hid it in between the meat. That's not nice. Okay. My turn. <clears throat> Which kid is your favorite? I do have a favorite. I don't. I don't like all of them. <laughs> no. I do have a favorite, but it depends on what you're talking about, or it depends on the day. Every day it changes. One day it may be Antonella because we're gelling that day. Then the next day it may be Samira. But overall, I don't have a favorite. It used to be Samira. She was my favorite because we had the same type of humor. It was Aaliyah. No, at first it was a some Samira. Then it was Aaliyah. At first, let me finish my. At first, it was Samir. But then Samir got. She turned 13 and she just went stupid. <laughs> it just went stupid. Then, for like two years, it was Aaliyah. Because we had, like, we understood each other. But then she turned 12 years old and then she went stupid. 13. 13 years old and then she went stupid. So. Yes, that's the magic age. The two younger ones, they're much younger, so we don't have the same. How do I say it? Interest. But every day it's a different kid, basically. Three left. And my one still ain't came up yet. Oh, you threw that in there. Two left. Dance with no music for one minute. One minute dancing. But one minute is long. Mm -hmm. At least read yours. Nah. Okay. Last one, which I already know what it is. Lick honey from the other person's toes. My toes? Yes. Okay. I don't want honey on my feet. I don't want him to lick my toes. Then that's two no's for you, and then you lose. <laughs> I lose anyway because I said no. Okay, that so was the last one, so no. Nah, come on, the pe people got to Nah, I don't want. Nah, you don't lick my toes. Come no, on, give I'm me that foot. Into, I'm not into so Nah. Give me that foot. Nah, thanks. Okay, she's a loser and she sucks. So, guys, that was the end <clears throat> of the Truth or Dare video. And she has two no's, I have zero no's. Which means she lost and you guys get to punish her. Again. Again. So please comment below. But wasn't that wasabi a punishment already? No, that was a prank. Um, please comment below with a punishment that you guys would um, think would be good for Andrea. And if for some reason nobody comments, then it comes back to me and I get to choose the punishment. <clears throat> but like I said below, please comment below. Like I said below. Please comment and... um. Give us a punishment. I would hate the right, here we go Big Mac challenge. <laughs> or how much pizza can you eat challenge. I can tell you now, if you people don't comment, her punishment will or, be the banana sprite challenge. Uh, I'm not doing this. Yes, you are. No, I really have a problem with throwing up. Once I throw up, I'm sick for two days. That's why we do it. We do no, it because I got to go to work and we help sick people. I have to help sick people. I can't be sick. We can do it on the weekend that, that you want to do your getaway weekend. Then I can get away. Not my problem. I'm sick. Not my problem. Now guys, come on. Bring, bring something that's not making me sick. Okay? I trust in y'all. Something bad. Please. Very bad. Alright guys. Anyway, thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for watching. Like. Subscribe. And comment with, with a punishment. Peace out.